welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 2.11 of chapter 2 which is related to the probability and the statement of this question is the resumes of two male applicants for a college teaching position in chemistry are placed in the same file as the resumes of two female applicants two positions become available and the first at the rank of assistant professor is filled by selecting one of the four applicants at random the second position at the rank of instructor is then filled by selecting at random one of the remaining three applicants using the notation m2 f1 for example to denote the simple event that the first position is filled by the second male applicant and the second position is then filled by the first female applicant okay so on the basis of this data let me first formulate the strategy that the first male is m1 second male is m2 okay first let me use another color for the female this one first female this is f1 second female that is f2 okay so on the basis of this data what do we have to do we have to find the list the elements of a sample space s okay so here we have some sample space and let me write that sample space here that is s okay so how many elements will we have in the sample space so let me first find out so here again using the window method okay in this window method we have two position for us First is for the assistant professor, second is for the instructor, okay. So the, for the choices, the number of choices for the first position we have are total four. One, when one will be occupied here, the remaining posts or remaining people for the second position will be three, okay. So the number of items in the sample space would be four, three, twelve, okay. So what are those twelve? position so let me write them here so either it can be first male okay and second male as well it can be second male and first male okay as well okay similarly m1 f1 m1 f2 okay similarly m2 f1 and m2 f2 okay also f1 f2 okay and f2 f1 okay so these are all the numbers here we have similarly we can also have the female in the first position as well with these males so it can be f1 m1 f1 m2 okay similarly f2 m1 and f2 m2 okay so these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so these are the total number of items which are basically in the sample space okay so these are all items in the sample space this is basically the solution of part a in solving part b list the elements of s corresponding to event a that the position of assistant professor is filled by a male applicant okay so the first position is basically of the assistant professor so here in all of these first positions we will have the male applicant okay so in first we can either have m1 or m2 while here we can either have m1 m2 f1 or f2 okay but the first position which is of the assistant professor we will have the what we will have the male applicant so here let me have set a and here we can have either m1 m2 okay similarly 
m2 m1 okay these are for the two males where we can see that here in both of the first positions we have a male similarly and others we will have here m1 f1 and also m1 f2 okay let me make it clear this is f1 okay similarly m2 f2 and also here m2 f1 okay so these are all the items in which we have the first male position okay and this is what we have here okay so now for part c list the elements of s corresponding to event b that exactly one of the two position is filled by a male applicant okay so it is what it is b so either we will have the first position for the male and it is f1 or m1 f2 similarly m2 f1 m2 f2 okay so these are the first positions for the male similarly for the second positions we will have f1 m1 and f1 m2 okay similarly f2 m1 or f2 m2 okay so these are what these are all the items in which exactly one of the two positions is filled by a male applicant okay we can see that here this is the male this is male this is male this is male and one of the two positions is filled by a male applicant so now for part d list the elements of s corresponding to event c that neither position is filled by male applicant okay so in all of these two positions we will not have a male applicant so this is d and it would be what this is c and in c we will have either f1 f2 okay or f2 f1 okay so this is for the part d of our question now for part e of our question we have to do word list the elements of s corresponding to the event a intersection b okay so this is what this is part e and here we have to find a intersection b which are basically all the elements which are common in between a and b so let me use this color for pointing out the common elements so let me first take m1 m2 and see that whether it lies here or not so whether it is here or not in b so it is not available here so i am not going to use it okay similarly m2 m1 whether it lies here or not let me remove this here okay whether this m2 m1 lies here or not okay so it also doesn't lie here m1 f1 does it lie yes it is here similarly m1 f2 yes it is also here m2 f2 does it lie here yes and uh, m2 f1 okay this is also here as well okay so we have to write these four elements here which would be what so let me write them here these would be m1 f1 okay this one also this colored one which is m1 f2 okay this one now m2 f1 okay and the last one is m2 f2 m2 f2 this is for what this is for e now to solve f of my question list the elements of s corresponding to the event a union c which is which are basically the all the elements consisting the elements of a and c okay so let me move down somehow so for this question this is f and for this we have to find a union c so let me first write all the elements of a which are m1 m2 m2 m1 m1 f1 m1 f2 now m2 f2 m2 f2 and m2 f1 okay now let me write all the elements of c which are f1 f2 and f2 f1 f1 f2 and f2 
f1 okay we can also see that all the elements here are basically occurring once okay so therefore it's a complete set which is a union c now for g construct a venn diagram to illustrate the interconnections and unions of the events a b and c so this is what this is g and let me denote the overall space which is let me call it s here this is s which is the sample space and here let me represent the first set which is a by here okay this is a and their subset is basically or the other set here is b so a intersection b is here so this is also b and here we have what this area we have this one is a intersection b while this is a this is b okay also we have here what we have here c okay so we can see that these are there is nothing common in between a and c and also b and c so therefore i have written it separately and the items which are common in between a and b are written here as well okay so this is what this is basically the venn diagram representation of a b and c and also their intersections okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 2.11 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon